Now, focusing on the ground situation in the valley that remains tense. Across the border, India's number one Hafiz Said, meanwhile, continues to add fuel to the fire. The 2611 mastermind has said that his organization will back any move by the Pakistani army to wage war for the separation of Kashmir from India. The head of the outlaw, Jamaat Dawa, said that war for Kashmir will be akin to jihad. Speaking to a Pakistani channel, Hafiz Said said that his organization has been helping the Pakistani army in its operations in Jammu and Kashmir. The JUD chief for whom the US has offered a $10 million bounty also condemned the arrest of Huriyat hardliner Masarat Alam. So Hafiz Said that the 2611 mastermind as accused by India categorically stating that his organization, the Jamaat Dawa, will back any move by the Pakistan army to help the people of Kashmir as it will be akin to jihad. Joining me now is Hamza Mir, our colleague from Islamabad. Hamza, clearly, you know, here is this man that India has been accusing as the 2611 mastermind, but Pakistan has time and again come out and stated that, look, we do not have evidence against him. And to us, he's only a man who heads a charity organization. Is this what a head of a charity organization is supposed to be coming out and stating that he will back the Pakistan army in jihad against Kashmir? Well, see, it's an open secret in Pakistan. Everyone knows that Jamaat Dawa's punchline has always been the Kashmir dispute. They take out rallies uh, in, in major cities of Pakistan in support of the Kashmir struggle. They support the Hurriyat leaders. They support uh, the struggle that they say is a struggle in Indian, Indian uh, administered Kashmir. And at the same time, uh, now when uh, he says that you know, if the army goes ahead, then they will actually be supporting them right. actually raises a lot of question that you're an, uh, an individual and an organization that is a charitable organization as stated and also is on the watch list it's, it's a banned organization on the watch list of Pakistan uh, security agencies uh, so if that is the case then how come he can be allowed to give such statements that is actually raising more Hamza, stay with us. Himself, there seems to be some technical. The, our, um, Hamza, stay with us. I will come back to you. General Damshed Ayaz, uh, who is joining us now, in fact, uh, from Pakistan. General Ayaz, you know, this is a man that time and again, various governments, your authorities have said that he only runs a charity operation. Is this the kind of statements that come out from a charity organization that we will wage a jihad against Kashmir and we will back Pakistan army, the Nizam, the governments in its operations against Kashmir's? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. See, the point is, why are you, you wasting your breath on a man who is nothing, who is absolutely useless? I don't even care about it, know about it, know about him. The more important point is that India and Pakistan should grow up, should grow together General, and should understand. General, I'm sorry, to interfere. General, I'm sorry to interfere. If you say he's useless, how come the government cannot put him behind bars or at least detain him? How come he's allowed all this space to actually go and address thousands of people every second day in a rally and spew such hatred and win them against India? While he remains that contentious See, sticking the point, point in is, relations. the point is, you, he would be arrested if I was a, a boss of the Pakistan. But unfortunately, I am not the boss of Pakistan. Otherwise, I can, as you say, I can recommend that he should be caught and arrested. But that's a different matter. But I think there are more important things in life. Pakistan and India have to grow together. And Pakistan have, they have to try solve the problem because now there cannot be war between India and Pakistan. So, Basically, Pakistan sir, I and do India understand and you are Pakistan not a voice and a, a, you, you know the official representative right now but uh, having said that you know how can india really progress if this man continues to be one of the biggest issues of trust deficit and here in this interview he categorically is saying that i have been supporting the pakistan army in its jihad against kashmir and will continue to do so how can india really move on when it comes to bridging such divides you really surprise me India is a very big country. It will move on, move on, and move on, inshallah, and Pakistan will move on with it, it. With it. So how, why should we compare this small man with India? India is a very big country and a very forward-looking country. 
and she came to me. No, I am not an Indian, but I say that, and I know that because I am talking about in the literal, literal sense. So Pakistan and India should look towards each other and should solve all such problems. These are minor tidbits. Okay, you, you are saying that this is a minor irritant in relations. Them. General Jamshed, do stay with us on the line. I'm also joined here by the BJP's uh, Sambit Patra. Uh, Mr. Patra, you know, there's Gen General Jamshed Ayaz from Islamabad on the phone. He says that character like Hafiz Said is a minor irritant in India should ignore him. Do you think that should be the approach as far as dealing with Hafiz Said, regardless of the kind of statements that he gives out there in the rallies or to media interviews? The two things. First and foremost, Pakistan has not learned its lessons. Calling uh, Lakhwi or Hafiz Said minor irritants only proves that Pakistan does not take things which are to be taken seriously. It was the same Pakistan which had voted very recently after the unfortunate Peshawar incident where small children had, uh, had been killed, that they would take on terrorism head on. But is this the way of taking terrorism head on when you call Lakhwis and uh, Hafiz Said minor irritants? And secondly, and very importantly, Hafiz Said today has exposed the real Pakistan right. in the sense that Pakistan has always been speaking of non-state actors and non-state players whenever there was a terrorist attack anywhere in India. And today, Hafiz Said has proved that there's nothing called as a non-state actor. Everything was state-sponsored. And well, that is the reason as to why Pakistan has all the more reason to worry in the international community that has already been cornered. Right. Thank you so much, Samit Patra, of course, for joining us. There are also General Ayaz from Islamabad. And as Hamza Amir says that, you know, this is an open secret. We'll have to wait and watch as to how does this affect the current governments, the BJP-led governments, of course, Pakistan policy in the days to come.